First thousands of elementary students have a big day ahead of them. Thanks for being here. I'm Megan Farley. Tomorrow, most students will start Oklahoma Core curri curriculum testing, but last year we remember it was a fiasco. But News on 6 reporter Katira Winfrey says that school leaders are assuring parents this year not going to be a problem. Well, last year, the testing system crashed, causing many students to have to take their test again. Now, the stakes are high. In many cases, these students' scores will determine if they'll be promoted to the next grade. And with a new company taking over, the students will be able to focus on just the test. All year long, students across Oklahoma have studied for the big test. Teachers work with the students on test prep strategies um, on how to take a test and what to do if you come across a question that you don't know the correct answer. Hours of class time and preparation to sit in front of a monitor for that test doesn't prepare you for the technical issues that could follow. In previous years, a server overload caused the testing system to crash. As a result, many tests had to be thrown out. So the work students had done was gone. Aaron Lester with Tulsa Public Schools says this year will be different. The new testing service company measured progress has shown promise. In the winter, we did not experience any types of uh, computer difficulties like we had with the previous test company. Lester says um, there's a safety net built done. into the system. She says when students take the test online, the answers are stored locally on the computer. So if the students are online when they hit submit, their answers are sent to the test company. Now, if at any time uh, the computer crashes or the um, internet connectivity is lost. If that computer is restarted and the testing icon is relaunched, then that student's answers will be sent to the test company. She says these tests are state mandated. So with less trouble administering them, the better students can perform. We do want our students to do well. And if you have a child gearing up to take that test, school leaders ask that you make sure your child has a good night's rest and has a big breakfast. Now, the testing window will extend through the beginning of May. Katira Winfrey, News on 6.